All right, I'd like to do a problem where the table, lab bench, I have a three kilogram vehicle that I'm pulling across the bench. I'm using six newtons, and that's that is the applied force, and it's just going to be the, the friction. The, the, the applied force is going to be the force to overcome friction. It's going to go at a constant velocity. Therefore, I can say that the applied force equals the friction, which equals 6 newtons. So the net force is 0, so it's a constant velocity. So 6 newtons equals the friction. Easy? When you push a cart, you're in the grocery store and you're pushing a cart at a constant velocity down the aisle. Well, you're just applying a force that overcomes the friction. That's the only force you're applying, right? So the applied force, as long as you're not accelerating, racing down the aisle, is going to be equal to the force, the force of friction. Okay, so that's true. That equals the force of friction. Yeah? Now, on a horizontal, on a horizontal plane, table, floor, the, the, the force down is your, is the weight. The force up is going to be the normal force. When you stand on a bathroom scale, when you stand on a bathroom scale, you are actually, this is your weight, that's the normal. You're actually reading the normal force, the force pushing up, the force pushing up. We're not going to worry that much about the direction. It's simply the normal force will equal the weight on a horizontal surface. Okay? Horizontal surface. So, so in this kind of set, setting, the weight equals the normal force. The weight equals the normal force. Okay? So, 3 kilograms Fw equals... 30 newtons, okay? Fw equals 30 newtons. That's the weight of the object, okay? Fw equals 30 newtons. Now, I need to find the coefficient of friction, right? Coefficient of friction, and that's going to be a quote, that's going to be a quotient, numerator over denominator, right? So that's going to be, let's erase some of this stuff here. And we'll say that that's going to be 6. 6 is going to be, 6 is going to be the, what? 6 is going to be the friction. And that's going to be over 30. All right? 6 over 30, that's 1 fifth. There's 5 sixes in 30. So that'll be 0.2. Right? I'm going to erase some of this stuff here. So I have... I have the coefficient of friction equals 0.2. Easy? Very good.